I used to walk around life with no, no shoes, shoes on. on. Lived the low life, call it a bare yeah. rutan. But then the bass turned into a treble. When I start getting in trouble, my anger pop like a bubble. Uh. Pop. Fast forward, now I'm jumping off an airplane Damn. with no parachute. I landed on my parachute, and now I'm walking dreams. Now I'm talking goals, huh? Creating things, man, and this is how it goes, huh? Mm. To OBH is the closing of my creation. Optimal of both hells is what I name it. And honestly, I may go through a lot just to make a plot, but I'm still loving it. And when you watch this show, hope you enjoying it. And when the book is done, go ahead and read it. Every creation does have a creator. A creator want praise, so don't be a stranger, yeah. Okay, so what you guys think of the new background? You know, I figured, you know, to get a little bit of change in my room and stuff, you know, I'm like, hey, I'm gonna start doing it in my room. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna need a lot more space in this corner and then I'm gonna need a nice little background and figure what other background would I put that builds an anime, you know? So I'm gonna put a, you know, One Punch Man. Then we got Hero Academy. Then you got Attack on Titan. So I think they'll be up here for a while, I should say. What's good, watchers? Today will not be that much either, you know. So honestly, my whole plan and my whole goal today is to speed things up, to make things quick, to get things out the way. I'm not trying to have a whole episode, an actual 30 minute episode. I'm really tired of doing these editing and then having these long editing and these long rendering. I'm like, not having it today. No, not having it. So I'm gonna make this quick. I'm doing two arts and I gotta go, okay? So first recommendation. It's Neon Kawaii, I don't know, it's spelled N-Y-A-N, N-Y-A-N, K-O-I. So I'm just gonna say Neon Kawaii, I guess that's how it's pronounced. It came out on October 2nd, 2009, so you could say go back for real, but I found out about the show about like a year ago. And the main character name is Junipi Kusakai. Like I said, these Japanese names got a trope. But you know, I hope I said it right, because you know I've been trying to get my Japanese up. So the main character, he hates cats, but his high school crush loves cats. And so one day he's walking home from school and he kicks a can into this type of statue looking thing. And when he kicked the can, the can wind up knocking down the statue. And the statue was some type of garden, um, guardian dignity of cats. So what happens when he knocked down the statue and the statue broke? Um, he wind up being cursed. And the curse was him having the ability to hear and understand what our cats sing. And also he must now complete a hundred wishes from cats. And if he doesn't, he become a cat. And it's like, what the freak? This guy's about to become the very thing that he hates, cats, you know? So he's, you know, he just goes through a lot of things trying to accomplish wishes for cats. And imagine, you gotta be a hundred wishes. That's just a lot. So that's, that's all for the first recommendation. So now on to the next recommendation. We have My Bride is a Mermaid, which is aired in April 2nd, 2007. The main character, <coughs> don't know how to pronounce that name, but he almost drowned diving the, the main character almost drowned. That's, this is the main character. Yeah, that's him. He, he drowned during the summer vacation. And what happened was a mermaid named Seto-san saved him. Now, Seto-san is from a Yakuza mermaid family. So she's a mermaid and then there's a Yakuza mermaid thing down there and she's from that family. And by law, if a human sees a mermaid, the human or the mermaid must die. So when Seto-san saved this boy, it was either she died or he died because that's the law. But the only way out was by marriage. So. Now, the boy agrees to marry the girl during summer vacation and all. So he decides to go through the whole big whatever, like, okay. You know, because in his mind, he's like, I'm, I'm too young. I'm 12 years old. I'm not really about to marry this girl. 
So, yeah, fine, whatever. Save my life, I'll marry him. Even his parents said, yeah, man, just say, just say you'll do it so they don't kill they don't kill you or us or whatever. So he agrees to. So summer vacation's over and he's like, well, I guess I gotta go back home. Don't really have to deal with this no more because, you know, this is not where I live, you know, so I'm gonna have to go back home. Don't know what y'all talking about this marriage stuff, but time for me to go back home. Summer vacation over, he goes back home, getting ready for school. And then when he gets to school, apparently son transferred to his school now. And, you know, and she was saying like, oh, if this marriage is gonna work, I'm gonna need to be around you, I'm gonna be near you. So, you know, I gotta transfer to your school. And it's like, whoa, now the kid's like, what is going on? I thought this was just a summer thing. And I thought this was a joke, but it seems more serious. And after that, the kid goes home and turns out son is at his house and she's moving in with him as well. Now it's like this kid's kind of pissed, but you know, it's something you got to deal with because if you don't deal with it, he's going to basically die. Uh, son also had this little guardian little thingy, I don't know what it was, some type of, some type of thing, some type of sea critter, some type of sea critter, and the, the critter was like a guardian. Very aggressive, vicious critter too. Maybe small, but it kill, and that thing would kill for some. So those are the two recommendations I have for you today, and that was not supposed to hit me. I know some of y'all are watching and asking about, hey, What's, uh, when are we going to know more about uh, the book and your animation and what's being done with it? I do have that planned out. I do have that thought out. I'm actually, um, videos is actually going to, going to come up during the near end or beginning of November because I am the, the mastermind, the founder and the owner of this book, but also I do have a secondary writer and I really find that it's important that he's also there to, to share with me with the story. So just in case if I'm missing anything or I don't know anything, you know, well, I know it all, but you know, I do find it that his presence is important. So when I do have a hold of him, cause you know, it's not like we get together in the same area. Once he finds his way to get um, down here, uh, we're gonna start showing videos and start getting in detail and in depth more about the animation. Also have someone working on the cover page for the book. So, you know, I kind of want him and the cover page to be ready at the same time. So when showing everything, it could be like, blah, you know, there it is. And you know, don't have to like go back and forth or whatever. But honestly, when it's explaining the book, I, I doubt it will take one, one episode to talk about because I'm not going to sit here and talk straight 10 minutes about the book. I'll try my best to like break it in parts and do follow-ups and continuums and everything. We're just going to do little, little by little, bit by bit. I'm going to show you how it all got started and how it all, you know, began to be something. So with that being said, I do have on this shirt again and I do have a nice background or, you know, the modeling. So I figured maybe, just maybe this time I could do better. So let's, let's try this again. Not feeling it? Okay, I, I, I thought so. I thought so. Um, okay. <clears throat> I'm really, you know, I would save a lot of time if I just modeled my own shirt, you know, so I'm really trying, you know, really trying, you know. Um, oh, don't the mid-magazines, they, they, they can, no, I'm, I'm not even going to bother, let's just end the video.